And the next item for you here on the 56th weekly Friday show from Radio Free UK is from Alan's Antics, Alan Taylor Shearer's podcast, as entitled London's Muslim Mayor to Ban Sexualised Images of Women, which follows on nicely from the previous item on ideological exclusion. From Breitbart.com, London's Muslim Mayor to Ban Sexualised Images of Women. London's first ever Muslim mayor is set to ban images of unrealistic, scantily clad women from ads on public transport, which could see the city adopt some of the most censorious policies in the Western world. Sadiq Khan argued for the move by appropriating the language of feminism, claiming that alluring images of beautiful women could make them ashamed of their bodies. Ironically, the policy is likely to please both the misogynistic Islamist and prudish third-wave feminists, whose ends appear increasingly similar. The announcement comes five years after suspected Islamists began painting over images of bikini-clad women in Tower Hamlets in East London, and last year after feminists began similarly defacing images of women in bikinis on London transport. Images of women are banned in public across large parts of the Muslim world, and the phenomenon is now spreading to the Western world. Germany's progressive justice minister, Heiko Meiss, recently promised to ban ads which, quote, reduce women or men to sexual objects, in an attempt to create a modern gender image, following the mass sex attacks on New Year's Eve in Cologne, committed by mostly Muslim migrants. The Lord Mayor echoed these sentiments. He said in a statement, quote, As the father of two teenage girls, I'm extremely concerned about this kind of advertising, which can demean people, particularly women, and make them ashamed of their bodies. It's high time it came to an end. Nobody should feel pressurised while they travel on the tube or bus into unrealistic expectations surrounding their bodies and I want to send a clear message to the advertising industry about this. Transport for London Commercial Development Director Graham Craig said, quote, Advertising on our network is unlike TV, online and print media. Our customers cannot simply switch off or turn a page if an advertisement offends or upsets them, and we have a duty to ensure the copy we carry reflects that unique environment. In April of this year, the UK's advertising watchdog announced an investigation into the objectification and sexualisation of women in ads because of an increasing political and public debate driven by offended feminists on social media. The Advertising Standards Authority, ASA, had already started banning ads featuring attractive women that supposedly cause offence or harm. Such censorship may now become routine, as the ASA claims it is alive to changing attitudes and behaviours. The development follows the controversy surrounding Protein World last year a fitness company that put up billboards in London showing a woman in a bikini beside the words, Are you beach body ready? Feminists and so-called social justice warriors started an aggressive online campaign against the ads, which was picked up by the liberal media, leading to more than 70,000 people signing a petition against the image. These are people who are so insecure that they have to be offended by a picture of a woman. It's pathetic. There are people who look like the people in the pictures. They do exist. They're not all airbrushed. <laughs> they, they, they are real people. And to portray them is a good thing. I mean, putting a fat person on there would be good as well. Putting a Muslim person on there would be good as well. And we are manipulating our culture to serve the sensitivities of a very, very tiny, small part of the population who think they're feminists to the extent that they can't avert their eyes from an image of a white woman. Because that's what we're talking about. We're talking about an image of a white woman. And apparently, not being able to avert your eyes so that you don't see the image 
is not good enough. Now you have to deface public property and what about the rest of us? We might want to look at that image completely in all its glory. I know I would, but then I suppose that makes me a misogynist and an Islamophobe. Well, first of all, I have no fear of Islamists and I have no qualms with Islam and, well, being a misogynist, I'm just a bloke. I'm just a man who likes to see a pretty lady. And that's it. That doesn't automatically make me a rapist, as some feminists would have you believe that if you like to look at attractive women, then you want to rape them, which apparently makes you a rapist. Well, I'm not. I never have been, and I never will be. I have a very attractive wife, thank you very much. And, yes, I like to look at her in bikinis.